Are you tired of spending a small fortune on a beautiful duck breast only to overcook it? We all know there's nothing worse than overcooked duck breast. It gets extremely dry and the metallic flavors make it taste a bit like liver. So if you agree with me on this, hang on, cause today we'll cook a nice and pink duck breast with crispy golden skin. Since it's Christmas, I thought it would be nice to cook a complete meal, so that's what I'm going to do. This will be sort of a mix between your classic French dish and Asian flavors, since those go so well with Christmas as well as duck. While I was talking, you might have noticed I've peeled and halved a few potatoes. These need to boil and I recommend starting with this, as we will fry them later on in the rendered duck fat. Remember to use plenty of salt in your water. Once they're tender, drain them and set them aside for later. Next I'll prepare the vegetables. I've chosen to use pak choy since we're going Asian today, but I might have used them anyway to be honest, because they're so versatile and go well with duck. Just half them and trim the ends so they look a bit nicer. Now set them aside. Next half some shallots. Since I'm making a small portion for demonstration I only use one, but maybe calculate one per person. Now cut off a few pieces of orange peel and save a nice slice of the orange for presentation. The rest of the orange will be juiced when I make the sauce. Then crush some garlic and peel the skin off. If you give them a light crush and a twist, it should come off easily. Now on to the duck breast. You want a thick duck breast as it gives more time for achieving crisp skin while not overcooking the meat. As you can see, there's a bit of silver skin and connective tissue on the underside of the breast. You want to remove most of that. To remove it, slide your knife underneath it as close to the silver skin as possible. Then run your sharp knife along it at a slight angle towards the silver skin. This way you remove the least amount of meat as possible. Now, I know it seems wrong to discard some of your expensive duck breast, but trust me, removing it will lead to a much nicer experience. Now onto the skin side. You want to trim some of the excess skin off the sides. Don't remove too much as it shrinks, just the bits that seem out of proportion. Make sure you save these bits, since we want to render as much fat as possible out of the skin to get it crispy. You score the skin in a diamond pattern. Just run your knife along the skin without cutting into the meat. If you by accident cut into the meat, it's not the end of the world, but try to avoid it. If you have a sharp knife, the weight of the knife should be enough pressure. It should look something like this. Now, salt the skin side of your duck breast generously and place it skin side down in a cold, dry pan. Once in the pan, don't forget to season the meat side. You can use pepper here as well. Turn the heat to medium to medium high heat and let it come up to temperature slowly. This will render out the fat of the skin and there will be plenty to fry your breast. Now wait. You can give it a few presses to ensure full contact with the pan, but try not to touch it too much. Add in the bits of the skin you trimmed off, as fat will render off those as well. Once the pan has come up in temperature, Check on the skin once in a while to make sure you don't burn it. If the pan seems overly hot, turn down a bit. When your skin is thoroughly browned and crispy, turn the duck breast. Now add shallots, garlic and orange peel to the pan, as well as a few nubs of butter. Finish cooking your duck breast while basting the skin side. Once the meat becomes a bit springy without too much resistance when you touch it, transfer the duck breast to a wire rack. Set aside the shallots as well as they can be a bit fragile. Now save all of the fat in the pan for the potatoes as we will make the sauce. Start by adding a cup or two and a half deciliters of duck stock to the pan. And make sure you scrape the pan to release all of the brown bits from the bottom. Now add a bit of soy sauce and the same amount of mirin. Then as much five spice as you like, as well as some dried cranberries, and then the juice from the orange from earlier. To 
thicken this, we use a slurry of cornstarch. Be careful not to add in the cornstarch at too high of a heat, as it will create lumps in the sauce. After a while, strain your sauce and make sure to pick out the cloves of garlic. Discard the rest. Now clean your pan and add the dog fat back in. Fry your potatoes in the fat until golden brown and crispy. If you want, you can break them up a bit, as you can see I did, to increase the surface area. Once done, remove from the pan and add in your vegetables. Fry them at a high heat until done. Don't worry about getting some color on the pak chai, it suits the flavor really well. Once done, add your sauce back in the pan, and while reheating it, gently stir in a few tablespoons of butter. Now, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We have to slice open the duck. Now, if you found this video helpful in any way, or maybe just enjoyed watching, I would greatly appreciate if you liked the video and subscribed to my channel. Thank you for watching. And please let me know in the comments if you're planning on eating duck on Christmas Eve. Take care.